I remember there was a lot of conversation about the fireplace. Like a house like this in New England needs a fireplace, but that's a huge energy penalty, right? Do you want to go take yeah. a look at that, explain what you guys are doing? Sure. sure. All right, let's go. So this was the fireplace? Yeah, this was this huge masonry, old school fireplace that went from the basement all the way through the attic. And when you're doing a passive house, you don't want a thermal bridge like that. It's a huge thermal bridge in the middle of the house. And we didn't want a standard fireplace anyway, so we removed all that and had to reframe each floor. Now we're going to put in a cool modern box, double-sided, what is it called? A uh, water vapor fireplace. Water vapor yeah. fireplace that has no venting, no smoke, no, no nothing. Combustion. It's just yep. a visual. But it looks like a fireplace. It yeah. looks like a real fire. It well, looks better cool. than a gas fireplace. Wow, that's yeah. cool. I bet that was a huge undertaking, Albert. How what, hard was it to get all that masonry out of this well, building? Well, we took out over 70 tons of stone and rubble. <laughs> we just started our way to the top and worked our way down. Well, it's going to um, make a huge boost in comfort and efficiency to this house, right? Yeah, as you know, having a fireplace in a passive house is not going to work, not only because of the venting, but because of the heat it gives off, because you will instantly overheat this house. Because you just don't need that much heat. No, right. not at all. It would be really uncomfortable, I presume. Oh, yeah. You have to open all the windows. <laughs> yeah. So this is what I would describe as a quintessential, or what was a quintessential New England fireplace. Huge, natural stone masonry, but once again, it. It just doesn't work in a passive house, is that right? Right. The clients wanted to keep the stone on the outside of the building and they wanted to keep a fireplace in here. So we're solving this problem by putting passive house certifiable wood burning fireplace in and we're going to insulate the heck out of the masonry wall to the inside. So we're going to spray foam first probably and then add a lot of fluffy insulation and build this wall out a bit so that we completely isolate the masonry chimney all the way up. And the idea is to keep the warm inside of the house from moving through that masonry to the outside, is that correct? Correct. So the insulation layer is gonna prevent that transfer of energy. Right. Right. This looks like a big job for you, Albert. Yeah, as you see, we took the front face of the, basically the chimney, the non-structural course that we could, and we did this on both floors. Similar thing in the master bedroom, there was a fireplace there that's gonna be covered over. And what will be the final finish as the room finish? What will we see when this is all done? I think we're still in development on exactly what kind of, it'll be some kind of stone, stone veneer. veneer. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it'll still have that quintessential New England fireplace look, but it's not going to be an energy penalty. Correct. Right. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But what is the company that makes these Passive House certified wood stoves? Uh, there are a few of them, and the point of both of them is that you've got the combustion air is coming in directly from outside. So you're not taking air from the house to feed the fire. Because there's just not enough, right? I mean, a fireplace right. needs right. huge amounts of that's air, right? right. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. I can't wait to see that. I love wood stoves.